Another disturbing Halloween incident in Moncton saw several young trick-or-treaters be bear sprayed as they were seeking shelter from the rain. This is the third bear spray attack in as many weeks. And tonight, victims and eyewitnesses are speaking out about their concerns. Here is CTV's Cami Kepke. We knew right away what it was. Seeking shelter from the rain in the midst of a busy night of trick-or-treating, Lydia Barga and Kiana Gauguin initially didn't think twice about the two young men that approached their friends outside of Moncton Elementary School last night. He just pulled out the barrel spray and sprayed us all. The group of five was hit by the irritant, eventually sending one teen to hospital as dozens of onlookers watched the scene. I covered my eyes and tried to get out as like, fast as I could. A lot of us couldn't really see anything. We were coughing. We were trying to get it out of our system. While the effects were minor, it's left the friends and their parents shaken and angry. Police are now searching for two male suspects. There was no altercation, no fight, nothing. Uh, that's why we tried to figure out what uh, caused the uh, the bear spray to be uh, to be sprayed. The incident also proved just as alarming for other families trick or treating on the busy street. And I looked behind me and there was, um, I think, two police cars, two ambulances, and there was a fire truck way behind, and people weren't getting out of the way. The two girls were screaming when they pulled up. It was just. It was horrific. I didn't know what happened to them. Now, fifth grade student Jackson Evans isn't sure he wants to go trick-or-treating next year. And with three bear spray attacks in as many weeks in the Metro Moncton area, his mother agrees. To think that somebody can be that inconspicuous, walk up, do something that damaging that can take away your eyesight and disappear that quickly with that many people around, is it's unnerving. On October 24th, five people, including three children under the age of 17, were hit by a similar substance and treated for minor injuries. Ten days before that, a cyclist just one block away was also attacked by bear spray and taken to hospital as a precaution. Police say it's too early to tell if the attacks are linked. Officers are now looking at security camera footage and witnesses to point them in the direction of the two male suspects. Cami Kepke, CTV News, Moncton.